Jungle Adventures. There you are. I need your help. Come join me on the next Jungle Adventure, where we're going to see wild animals and answer the question, who is the greatest treasure of all? But don't forget, bring your funky monkey call. Woo-hoo! Ha-ha! Yep, you try it too. And now we're going to pass it over to our friends at the Tropical Run. Sounds fun. And welcome to Tropical Run. I'm your host, Coco. And this is my co-host. Where is she? Sorry, I had to change my shirt. My co-host, Loco, who is also a little Loco. Today on Tropical Run, you're going to see kids compete against kids in wet, messy, chaotic games for absolutely no prize at all. Yes, today's challenge is called Rubber Ducky. You're the one. Get it? There will be slip and slides, there's going to be pools, there's going to be little rubber duckies. All they have to do is spell rubber ducky. We're going to test both their athletic ability and their spelling. Let's meet our teams. I'm Cavi. I'm Ruby. And, and we're, we're the Purple, purple pandas. pandas. I'm Sydney. I'm CK. And we're the Blue, Blue Bills. Bills. Three, two, one. All right, Purple Pandas are taking a nice big jog to get set. And they go! Off they go. Oh, all kinds of slow starts a, there. Yes, that's going to cost them. Oh, man, yes. Oh, we have the blue bells digging. She found a ladder. Good job. Oh, wrong way, wrong way, wrong way. There oh, she goes. There's... That's the other way, but look at the determination. Up the center, up the center. yes. She's going to make it. She's going to make it. A little dizzy, a little dizzy. Oh, look at that run. That run. She's running like a champ. Let's watch that again. There we go. Look at that run and the determination. Smile. Oh, and her parents are shooting her at the same time with the water. Look at this technique. Is that the That's fish, the fish flop? flop right there? there the, the fish flop, flop. Oh, straight yes. in action right, right there. there. She's, She's going to floppity flop, flop, flop all the way down, down it looks like. like. And we Let's have check in with the he oh, just playing. Watch out for your face. Oh, I hope the face is OK. Oh, oh. no. Is there a letter Z? Mm, OK, so maybe the spelling's not quite that good. Let's see. Oh, he's looking. He's looking. Oh. oh what technique is this? Coco? I believe that's the sunbathing technique. Yes, looks like it. Oh, oh, here they go again. <gasps> Up the gauntlet. Purple pandas are Finish. working hard. Finish for the look. win. Oh, but look, look right behind him. Look oh. right behind him. There comes oh. the blue bell. Bill, right behind him. And we have the winners, the purple, purple pandas. pandas. They take it. They take it home. The purple pandas are the winners. Well played. And there you have it. The purple pandas take the win. She's Coco. And she's Loco. And we hope you've enjoyed this edition of Tropical Run. Next week, tune in again. It's going to be really fun. Yes, and there may even be fish involved. Oh, I like fish. See you then.
on, say it. There's a spirit I cannot contain. The same power that raised Jesus up from the grave. This same spirit I cannot contain. Here we go. One day, Jesus went out and sat by the sea. Large crowds of people gathered around him. So he got into a boat and sat down. All the people stood on the shore. Then Jesus told the people parables or stories to teach them about the kingdom of God. Jesus' disciples asked him, why do you teach in parables? Jesus answered, not everyone will understand the hidden truths about the kingdom of heaven. Jesus reminded them about some of the words spoken by the prophet Isaiah. Some people look, but they do not see. Hmm. They hear, but they do not listen or understand. Oh. Jesus made these prophecies come true. Jesus said, you are blessed because you do understand. Jesus told a parable. The kingdom of heaven is like a mustard seed that a man planted in his field. It is the smallest of all seeds, but it grows taller than the garden plants. It becomes a tree and the birds come and build nests in the branches. Jesus continued, the kingdom of heaven is like leaven or yeast that a woman mixed into 50 pounds of flour. The leaven makes the dough rise. Jesus told another parable. The kingdom of heaven is like a treasure buried in a field that a man found. He reburied it and then he joyfully sold everything he had and bought that field. Then Jesus said, the kingdom of heaven is like a merchant in search of fine oh. pearls. When he found one priceless pearl, he went and sold everything he had and bought it. When Jesus finished teaching the crowds, he left that place and went to Nazareth. 
The kingdom of God is growing in the world. The kingdom is valuable and worth giving everything for. While we wait for Jesus to return and fully set up his kingdom, we carry out the mission of telling others about King Jesus who rescues sinners. Oh, hey, have you ever been on a treasure hunt? You heard the legends, you have the map, you have all the things you need to find the hidden treasure. Well, what is it that is so exciting about a treasure hunt? The adventure? The mystery, the clues to get you there, and obviously the treasure. That's a pretty exciting part. If you found a hidden treasure, what would you do with it? Seriously, think about it. Would you buy something? Would you give it away? Would you just want to hide it all over again? Well, while hidden treasure of gold and silver is cool and seems like it's worth a lot, it can actually lose its value too. It can be lost or stolen or even fade away. But what if I were to tell you that there's a treasure that is worth more than all of the treasure in the world? There's a treasure that will never fade. There's a treasure that will never lose its value. It's a priceless treasure. You see, there are parables in the Bible that Jesus told that talked about the kingdom of heaven being a priceless treasure. In fact, in the parables, the people gave everything they had for this treasure. We find the greatest treasure in Jesus. Through him, we receive the kingdom of heaven when we believe. So while we may try to find treasure in this world, whether hidden or in the things we have, all of that will fade. Jesus is the priceless treasure that will never fade. And Jesus deserves our everything. You see, the Bible is kind of like this treasure map. It, it's a guide. Here we can learn more about the priceless treasure that changes everything. And in the Bible, we can read how to live a life best full for Jesus. So this week, I challenge you to read your Bible. And while you read, think about just how precious and priceless Jesus is. He is the greatest treasure ever.
Hey, Jungle Adventurers. I hope you had a great time learning the story and answering the big picture question. Now, this tour is officially over, but I'll see you next time.